I'm very good. Lily Pads it is. I can tell this is something that would fascinate you. It's only four silver pieces, and it would tell you about the Pads. You can never tell when they will be saving your life. History. History. Oh, uh, that's a rather old topic. Uh, Here's some history of the frog, or did you have a different sort of history in mind? You don't seem to know what you're after, do you? No problem. What about, um, here, here's a book about on the history, history of the of Shadow this... Academy. The Shadow Academy? He makes his role to no shit. Uh, is that a school? <laughs> I have a book here that may interest you. It's a book of the history of this bookshop. It shows him standing, a much younger guy standing near. <laughs> uh, it's a very popular book to me. Would you like to? It's only two silver. It's on sale. I might sale. sacrifice him to Cthulhu soon. Just letting you know. If we, well. <laughs> you want to book on Cthulhu, you say? Uh, fresh out. Uh. <laughs> Anything? I, this is only two silver. We have a bit of an overflow stock. You see. My mother thought that the history of the shop would be much more interesting than I did. She insisted I buy so many printings of this book. So it's only two silver. The pages are very soft. <laughs> I just need a book with a big C on it. Do you have one of those? A book with a big C? Uh, no, I, I don't have that. I'm so sorry. I have a book on albatrosses. They like the ocean. Would you like a book on albatrosses? No. No. It's albatross flavored. Uh, I have a book on uh, uh, how to make your own tapestry. Would you like that? No, thank you. Uh, researching your family genealogy through uh, this book. Book's called Researching Your Family Genealogy Through This Book. Mm-hmm. Yes. I gotta wait outside before my brain explodes. <laughs> <laughs> what a I'm book sure about a book get, on get... needlepoint. Do, do you have any any people who make needlepoint for you? No, you thank you. Now? <laughs> do you have any actual um did, did you go outside antique... to stand there, Chris? Yeah, I'm looking. Is anybody watching us? Ah, ah, ah. Uh, give me a. Let me do Pete, and I'll come back to you. Go ahead, Pete. Do you have any antique books, rare books? Oh yes, yes, of course we do. What? Which rare? Oh, here's a very rare book. It's the history of the shop. This is the only bookstore you can buy a copy of this book at. It's a wonderful no, book. It's, it's rather short. Rare. I agree. Uh, did you have a different book in mind? Oh, I, that's what I was asking. If you had any antique or rare we, books, we have, have, we have this book here. It is, it is a fifth printing copy of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. It's signed by some random person as well. You can see the signature here. I don't know who Toby Gillick is, but he was very enthusiastic when signing mm-hmm. this book. Yes. It's very no rare. This is the only one signed by Toby Gillick known to exist. I see. No worries. Oh, thank you for your assistance. Are you sure that you wouldn't like something? Anything? A book? Mm, we sell yes, scented lots. candles as well. This one smells... It's candle... F- I'm candle walking scented. out the door. <laughs> <You're leaving. laughs> There's lots of books I want, but none in this store. <laughs> As right. again, the PCs flee the bookstore. Right, Chris, give me your counter surveillance roll. Uh, 
No. You suck. If they are, then they're far too wily for the likes of you, pale face. That's I'm right. going to play Rapid Card Cycler and <gasps> then move it to retrieve it back. What? Oh, I see. Can you retrieve the Rapid Card Cycler? What's it say on the card? Draw 10 cards. Keep one you like. Discard the rest. Play as desired if the card is available. Well done, you. Carry on. What'd you get? Oh, you haven't drawn yet. I was like, what'd you get? I don't know. Okay. Uh, damn, no reds. Oh, well. Hoping to get some reds out of the way. Well, you've got a couple more limited retrieves, so. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I, I think that you got, I think one. you. I think you're tilting the uh, pinball machine right now by um, yeah. uh, humping it as you play. All right. Uh, Dreamland, so draw a replacement card as it stays. And... Chris, uh, he seems to be deep in thought. Apparently, uh, being in the bookshop too long has uh, broken his brain. Where would you like to lead him to? You knew that I would don't happen. Know, because I don't have a map. Why don't you have a map? I gave you the link. Besides, you love these maps. Yeah, they make me so happy inside that I want to punch you. See? All right. You guys stand there. I right. have books! Books! <laughs> He's just holding we get two. into a handsome cab and flee the area. <laughs> Where to, sir? Says the guy as you guys climb in. All right. I'm not familiar with all right, sir. I'll, how about a tour of the city for our silver? Sure, why not? We'll tell you when we want to get out. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, he goes off. He understands your need to escape the bookseller. <laughs> oh, when you uh, when you did the Route 66 at the end, you have have you gone back to see Ann Dune since or no? No, that was one of the things <laughs> I was curious to see is whether or not he's actually made it back here yet or not. I wasn't sure how much time has passed. We can from, go visit I'm, him right I'm not, Yeah, I'm not sure if um, he's back or not. But yes, we can go there. Yeah, all right. Because uh, I think that was in one of the quarters. Because I want to see something. When If we both show up at the same time, we yes. both have, and I want to see yes. what happens, if there's a ripple ripple in the world ripple. or not. Yes, yes. Sounds good. Uh, but potentially before... Mm, now, the question is, because Great uh, Yandun is in the Lower East Side, which is pretty much the poorest district in the city... Uh, Turning up the way we're dressed currently is probably not a good idea. I'll well, get mugged. I was going to say, yeah. you, you guys are pretty tough looking. Plus, it's like uh, Lon London and Lower East Side. If you were there at night, that's a different story. But during the daytime. True, true. All right. Yeah. We'll, it, we'll it, get, get the handsome cab to take us to the great Yan Dunes residence. He chuckles and says, uh, Right, you are, sir. He tries to make his city lore roll. He's pretty damn good at this, but not that damn good. He it's, takes you there. He's in the lower east side near the butchers. Oh, no. and... He knows where it is, of course. This is for oh, okay. other knowledge. Other knowledge. He takes you there, and when you get there, there is a closed uh, out uh, on Mystic Journey sign on the door. Okay, so he hasn't made it back yet. I'm not going to do Handsome anyway. cab is. Uh, no way answers. It's closed. A handsome <laughs> cab waits, though. Um, I'll ask at the butcher next door mm -hmm. as to how long has he been gone for. He says, excuse me, sir. You! Get your ass in here! He says, pointing at the dock. I go inside. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're honing in on my turf. He brandishes a meat cleaver at you. <laughs> right. If I hear about you doing any of that without being in the guild, he chops a piece of meat. Got me. So there's a, a meat carving guild? Yeah. Did you want to join? Okay. Oh, all right. It's 10 silver pieces. I give him, I give him 10 silver. Oh, wow. Welcome. <laughs> he shakes your hand. <laughs> 
Um, your hand's all bloody now. And uh, it doesn't really clean up well. So, but yeah, I make a note that you are a official member of the Butcher's Guild. They apparently heard about you. And uh, so, yeah, word got around, apparently, quickly. Okay. It's like a fucking gossip circle in this goddamn town, you're thinking. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he, he, uh, uh, mark off two more silver if you'd like to buy some lovely cuts of meat. Beautiful marbling and everything. That's nice. <laughs> Just because yeah. other people cook for you. So, yes, um, the great Yondun, how long since he's been about Yondun? Uh, crazy, crazy alchemist. He's yes. been gone probably about two, I think, uh, two weeks or so. Yeah, okay. he should be back eventually, unless he dies. Mm-hmm. You know, I have such a hankering to go down Route 66, go and walk that maze. Again? And say Amber so badly, <laughs> it makes my fucking dick itch. Let me tell you. <laughs> the butcher looks back and forth rapidly between you two. Uh, he says, Thank you very much. Ah, uh, he says. <laughs> <laughs> it makes my dick itch. God damn. Um, so we do a lot of research and then we kick the wasp's nest as hard as we fucking can. And then we spray <laughs> water on it to see what happens after that. <laughs> and blow a lot of smoke over it. Yeah. Uh, Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that phrase before. Really? Ultimately horrifying. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, your handsome cab awaits. Uh, you, the butcher gave you a piece of butcher paper so you clean off your hand. Oops, sorry about that. Hey, nothing you're not used to, though, eh? Back, back, uh, street, uh, back, back alley butcher. <laughs> That's right. They all think you're an actual butcher, which is kind of disturbing. <sighs> But on the other hand, as you watch the way this guy works, both of you give me learn rolls to pick up butchery, like as in actual proper butchery. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't do it unless it's a human, he says. <laughs> I'll learn, or an elf. Or an elf, right. I do, have, yeah, I do have my elf uh, anatomy skill now. <laughs> Terrifying. So, um, okay. Yeah. All right. Let us leave this place for another place. All right. You guys want to go? um, Give the guy another silver, and he says, Where to now? Another tour of the city until you've made up your mind, gentlemen? Would you Uh, like to take us to Sprigham District? Yes, sir. uh, There's a private investigator office there called I Spy near Specialist City. That guy's a joke. You should steer clear of him, sir. I don't mind. I don't want to speak out of turn, but he's not a good person. No? Why is that? Well, it's just his occupation, spying on men getting up to nothing more than having affairs on their wives. Mm, fair enough. <laughs> right. I... <laughs> He takes you there. Mark off another silver. Uh, it's it's a it's not a bad way to travel. The handsome cabs actually can do some pretty good speed, uh, considering how close in the the some of the areas of the streets are and stuff. This is probably one of the better um, eh, route methods of transportation eh, mm-hmm. around. Um. You guys uh, head out, head in. There's an uh, older, fat guy who's in there. Um, he, it says on the door, it says Paul Underhill, PI. He just looks like a guy who maybe he was strong in his youth and it's all gone to fat and shit. And he looks at you with world weary eyes and he goes, Yes. 
as he sees two extremely posh people. Please, Jay, he, goes, he gets a rag and beats uh, on a couple of uh, old chairs and stuff. Uh, uh, seats, gentlemen. He sees money walking. He's no idiot. Thank you. Chris, you have you have tails attached to your thing. It's like you got to flip them up when you sit. Fucking weird. <laughs> so, um, I, being a man of your occupation, you would have your ear to the ground. Oh, well, I do indeed, sir. Yes. On some things, but on others, it's I have uh, hearing problems of course of course i completely understand he looks empathy somebody rolls. of your profession sorry empathy, empathy rolls. Rolls. how's going on you suck chris there we go yeah um yeah bye lots and lots, lots. I want. Order. okay pete you're thinking that this guy uh, he, he he's extremely wary this doesn't look like the kind of this is the kind of guy who's a couple years from retirement in a city where the government rules with an iron fist you're thinking that there is no fucking way he will say anything to you that anybody from the government would be interested in yep. this is the yep. kind of guy who just wants to coast comfortably into retirement and die Keep that down and yeah. yeah. You pretty much already figured him out just before he says anything. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, all right. I'm sure that comes, bitch. <laughs> he goes, mm hmm. He waits to see what you're going to say, even though that's all changing now. Chris, reduce your hand by one, please. Okay. Mm, that's all right. I suspect that you would not be able to assist us. As he you're looks a bit no crestfallen, longer, like no money coming to me now. You're no longer a man willing to take risks. Well, uh, not on that, but did you know that in the city of San Angeles, 50% of all people are unfaithful? That means if you are, are you having an affair, sir? Am I having an affair? No, not currently. Then you might want to have your wife checked out. <laughs> if I was married, I would consider ah. that. Ah, he says, well, hey, uh, you've so managed to you do anything ball, else besides, besides um, unfaithful cases? Well, he says, the P, as you guys haven't mentioned getting up and leaving, he says, if you know of any young eager lads for those other kinds of cases I don't like dealing with, send them here because I've always got extra work on. Yeah, you're happy to pass to work on. Oh, fair oh yes, please just send them here. Thank you, mm -hmm. sir. He stands up and goes, hurries over and opens the door for you. Okay. As you find yet another person with shit who, they want done. Who would you... Oh, that's why I've got him noted down because I'm <clears> assuming that was the case for this place. Hmm. Who would you point someone to Who? if they wanted to find out information about, say, for example, the Shadow Academy? I understand it's not something that, for example, you would want to divulge or something, but perhaps you know of an information broker, as an example. Uh, no. Sorry. You don't? No. No worries. Do you know of an information broker? Of uh, information broker. Yes. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, I'm getting Pretty flashbacks to the, I'm you getting flashbacks to the information broker we dealt with that didn't know anything. That we knew more than they did. It's so awesome. So awesome. All right. Yeah, apparently, uh, if your spouse is cheating, this guy may be able to help you. Otherwise, eh. All right. Thank you for your assistance. Yes, sir. All right. Well, 
that was a bust. The engine cab driver is still down. sitting here. Or, wait. Yeah, well, that, that's pretty much where I'm thinking we go next. <clears throat> so, if only we knew, I say this loud enough for just the Hamson cab driver. Yes, if only we knew thinking. where we could find some, like, non-government issue books that might have real knowledge in it, not just, you know, this government shit. <laughs> the guy goes, books, spits on the ground on the opposite side of the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the cheese yeah. shop, and you want some cheese, and he doesn't seem to have any of the kinds you're naming. Let's go to the Don then. <laughs> Where oh, sorry, the cat's eating it. The handsome cab guy. Uh, Big Fish Lane. The yes, sir. Like by the statue. Yes, sir. Uh, shall I wait? He says. Uh, no, no, thank you. Yes, sir. He goes, drops you off at the statue, and waits. Because you guys have been making his fucking. Oh, money. Of course. I just could somewhere else. We might be able to go for information. Do you want to give? Back into the cab, give him another silver. No, 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 no. It's in big, it is in Big Fish Lane. Oh. Uh, what? Walk an, a whole 10 meters. San Angeles Gazette slash Times. Mm. Because mm. they're the other people that often have their noses down to the. Well, it's thing. right over there. Do you want to go there yeah. or to bother Dragon Dung? Oh. I've already seen today. Oops. What the hell happened to my map? All right. Uh, what 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 do you reckon, Doc? Do we see if we can get a reporter, maybe Neva Cooper, that actually that might know something? Or they never give up their sources. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> I think we should go to the Don first, and if the Don All doesn't right, work then. out, then yeah. All right, let's do that then. When you start approaching the uh, Don for the second time in the day, uh, the people out in the front begin talking among themselves, and the one guy with the kind of tie stands up, and he looks really confused as to why you're back. Uh, yes? Um, yeah, and of course, we're dressed diff completely differently as well. Yeah. <laughs> He looks just baffled me, like, ah. Um, well, we're hoping that somebody, one of your associates may have information that can assist us. If not, the Don. Uh, he says. Information. Uh, okay. I mean... Yeah, a, a, this way. <laughs> he takes you in. Um, Dragon Don looks at you guys when you eventually get led into his austere presence, and he raises an eyebrow. He's like, I appreciate you getting dressed up to come and see me, he says. He adjusts his own cufflinks. <laughs> We've been visiting some high-class areas and didn't want to stand out. Hmm. I see. Um, we're trying to, we're, tr we're trying to find information, information that the people that there are statues about in this place have, um, changed. I've heard of the scene changers. They are somebody you should stay away from. Mm-hmm. Altering reality like that is not good for anyone. No. Butcher? Dragon Don leans forward. He looks like he's not a patient individual. Continue. <laughs> All right. Okay. One of the things we're in, when things we're trying to find out is, as as you know, something's happened to the Shadow Academy. 
he says, well, I have not heard about that. <laughs> As he rolls a natural 100, folks. Yes, yes. Please continue. Uh, I, I, you have me concerned, Don. Has somebody been tampering with your mind? As I said, the scene changers are dangerous individuals. Yes, if you because you knew about this when we discussed when we discussed this matter three weeks ago. Hmm. Go on. Um. Basically, you wish to know. Well, <coughs> since you appear. <laughs> Well, Shadow Academy, well, we don't know if it's back again, but it was disconnected. People could no longer go there. Ah, that, he says. Yes. Now, we, our understanding is the individual that may have been involved in it, the scene, potentially a scene changer, as you say, was one of the people that actually really was one of the people that set up the Shadow Academy as opposed to the Shadow Council. Ah, he was not a scene changer. He was a wild mage. A or, wild mage. Or a god, or a godling, depending on who you talk to. Okay. This, is an, this information strikes me as an excellent way to repay the information brought to me earlier today by you. Okay. Please continue with your questions. It appears so Doc when, Holden's brain is leaking out of one of his ears. So when was the Shadow Academy actually created? As there seems About to be conflicting... About a year and a half ago. However, time there, according to different. what I've heard, yep, yep. runs at six times the rate of speed as here. That is why people were so excited about it in the government, because they could get a full six years of schooling to somebody in just a year here and use it to continue with their wars. Of course, now that it has been disconnected and none of these students, teachers, and so on returned, people are asking themselves, where did they go? Will exactly. they come back? How do mm -hmm. we get there? Mm -hmm. These are excellent questions and you seem interested. Why are you interested? Because we're interested in these sort of matters, dimensions, realms, etc., zones. And because there's items there that we're interested in. Ah, loot. A perfectly reasonable request. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this wild mage godling as such. Do you know what his name was? Hmm. He says, eh, no, not exactly. Thanks. However, I do know an individual that you could talk to to find out more information. They may know something, they may not. They make no promises. No, no, that's a better lead than we've had so far. It shows everybody getting literally dumber as you guys pass them. <laughs> ah, I forgot who I am. <laughs> Who is that person? I think Logan's looking it up. Oh. I'm assuming. Ah. Oh, wait, wait. Ah! Wait. Yes. <laughs> he says... Oh, shit. Wrong page. Uh... Uh -huh. 
Go talk to Fred Feynman. He lives outside of town, to the west, about a quarter day travel, a couple hours away. He gives you more detailed instructions on how to Thank find you. this guy. Just so you're not wandering the waste and keep coming back to him and shit. Do you know if this gentleman would, um, is there anything particular he likes that we could give him as a gift? You are wise in these things. Uh, bring him a, a couple of excellent bottles of alcohol. This should help lubricate him. Does he have, do you know if he has a particular preference, be it scotch or whiskey or bourbon or vodka or, or he just makes any very specific quality? suggestions to you. Okay. He also suggests where to uh, go and buy it from, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Or he can send one of his guys out to get it if you want. No, that's okay. Depending on what it, the alcohol he's after, I have yeah, some yeah. thoughts on obtaining some. Anyway, okay. we, we, have, we have means of obtaining... Yeah, I, find I can send my guy, you give him some money, he will get it, he will bring it back. This is not a problem for me. Uh, one um, of his guys oh, we, we, looks attentive. Oh, we, we, have, we have a source of pre-rendered alcohol that perhaps we will get a bottle from there. His eyes glitter. Mm-hmm. Really, he says. You're yes. Starting early. All right. <laughs> really. Really, he says. Really. Mm. <laughs> really. <laughs> I also appreciate the finer things. <laughs> Is there a particular? It gives you specific old, instructions. <laughs> yes. Old alcohol. You know, it like gives you Jim very Bean specific stuff. Or... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, probably Crown Royal because of the bags and shit. Who knows? So, yeah, <laughs> the big instructions on all that shit. Although he, he he enjoys like the couple hundred dollars a bottle or more shit. So, yeah, yeah. He gives you a fucking shopping list and promises uh, uh, good, good money if you uh, want to set up a thing. Uh, yes. Uh, a La Costa Nostra. Mm -hmm. Yes, all right. Okay. Did you want to ask him about Mr. Butcher, or did you wish to ask him about the things we were talking about on the beach. Go ahead, continue. I think I can't he's think of almost anything. done. Oh. <laughs> Have you heard oh. of amber or amberites or trumps? Or walking the pattern? I have heard of Trump. He was apparently one of the world leaders that caused the globe to spiral into ruin. Okay. Anarchy. Oh, it was more meaning Trump as in like a card. Oh, but... no, I, I, I have not heard anything about that or spider webs on fire or anything of that nature. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember to not stop. Good day. <laughs> 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 As Chris bites through the table. <laughs> uh, Chris, give me an evidence analysis roll at negative 30. You can do it. You begin to hear Doctor Who music. It shows a couple of guys Got playing. It. Yeah, no nice. Uh, Got it by half. Right. Here's the deal, Chris. You suspect that they don't actually know about such stuff 
but you are in a shadow of people who might or the shadow of a shadow of a shadow however you want to go either way like the shit that i had said a, a while ago right yeah much like that so you think you could be correct and you could you can almost feel your butt cheeks beginning to spread as a huge black dildo <laughs> slowly trying to dock with you <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have a large submarine up my ass soon. <laughs> the guy in the handsome cap looks at you guys and raises his eyebrows happily. Uh, all right. Let's. Uh, where are we? Oh, there we go. If you can force Chris to look at the map, uh, I'll be very happy. <laughs> we will head over to the district next to us to Weapons and Armor Row. And, Taking the cab um, for our silver. Lovely. No, I, well, first of all, Doc, my thinking is we go to Clem's, go get the alcohol, then go visit Mr. Feynman. Potentially go get changed first before going outside the city, but yeah. Unless there's something else in mind you're thinking of doing. A whole different district's a couple of blocks away. Are you sure you don't want to ride the handsome? Because, you know, you're posh. I mean, seriously, there's a lot of horse shit in the streets. So we're going to go back to red carpet and get the, the alcohol, right? Yeah, yeah, because it, yeah, bent thing being it'll be not something they can get hold of, so it'll be worth quite a lot more and hopefully be a, a lot better gift for this fireman, so he'll hopefully be more receptive to us and giving us information. I would like to point, point out that in red carpet in your current clothes, you're not going to stand out horribly. It's, it'll be like you're clearly old-timey recreationist and shit yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. with hand-stitched, well, but, you know. Well, the clothes I'm wearing I actually got from red carpet. We went there and got the clothes. That's funny. So question, like, so the Lower East Side, the poorest right. area. No, no, say, say Lower East Side, right? Lower East Side. <laughs> is that, <laughs> that's where the warehouse is that is in the same area where all the warehouses yeah. are. Yeah, are warehouse 40. By. Yes. 42, warehouse right? 40. Yes, Warehouse 42, that, exactly. The answer. Okay. That is no. Exactly. That is the answer, indeed. There's it, just too many things right now in my brain. Just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, this would be fun. So, you guys, uh, to make a long story short, are you wanting to stop by your house at all while you're in red carpet or simply pop out of the gate, go on an alcohol buying spree, and take as much as you can physically lug back with you? The only thing I want to do is go to where the seat of power is in the red carpet. Like you said, like that's mm -hmm. where all the, the, do people go there? Like, are there people oh, yeah. really coming yeah. in and out of there? Okay. Yes. But However, there's, like... go ahead. I was going to say, when you get there, there's a big wall and somebody has vandalized it with spray paint and the cops are currently cuffing the guy. It's a big picture of Batman and you. I mean, Robin. Okay. <laughs> no Batgirl? Apparently painted. Uh, no, no. She she apparently hasn't uh, done enough to warrant being memorialized in graffiti. Uh, but there's, there's uh, a lot of uh, uh, Batman is true justice for uh, San Angeles graffiti and shit like that around and other unmemorable catchphrases um but uh the uh, you notice uh pete go over and it, sh it shows him dressed all posh hand a coin to a boy who gives him a broadsheet <laughs> he's like oh, look at this and you're like ow ow and apparently the crime 
uh, for serious crime, not like petty shit and all that. Crime is super down, super down because pretty much anybody does one of the big ones, like anything above assault, like rape, murder, uh, shit like that is typically found missing all of their blood with twin puncture marks on their neck and sometimes a bat boomerang partially buried in their skull or something like that. So all the serious crime is way down. You know, if you're dealing hard drugs like smack or whatever, you end up with a fucking uh, bat bola around your neck and all your blood missing. The criminals are pretty much really not excited about doing business in this town so yeah crime rates down like 82 percent or some un unbelievable number like that according to the broadsheet that the paper has been printed on i'd like to point out since the pages are normally smaller there are four pages to one of the pages you're looking at in the broadsheet format for reasons so <laughs> You look around wildly, Chris, for the handsome cab. There's a normal cab. Nobody's sitting uh, on top and stuff looking at you. So if it's, although, Chris, what's really troubling to you and almost a sandy roll is the cab driver who's waiting for you looks a lot like that fucking handsome cab driver. And you're like, <laughs> like they could be brothers type thing. <laughs> Says Chris. My brain, you uh, give me a um, uh, uh, give me an empathy roll on Doc Bolton, if you would. Is anybody watching the building, this main building here? There's not just one main building. There are multiple main. Oh, buildings. there's there's a multiple, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This one is no. big. Fail? Is no, that I do a not make it. No, it's ah. not. I've got my empathy is quite high. He's it is one of my fine. over 80 skills. He's fine. There's nothing wrong with him. He's just sitting there going, eh, eh, eh. And you're like, no, yeah, jelly good. Feeling hungry? <laughs> no, it seems the same people movie? across multiple realities. We keep seeing, we, it's, we keep encountering it, so it's not unexpected. It, 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 this would be extra cool if this was a Hollywood movie because we could recycle the same actors and actresses and shit, move the scar from this side to this side, weird shit like that. Just gets a bit tricky in Beastkin realm. Mm, especially if you fuck one of them in Beastkin realm. Yeah. That didn't yep. create any issues. That didn't create any f feedback at all. No, no, no. Everything's no. fine, as Matt said. Everything's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Was there anything else you wanted to do in red carpet while we're here? I don't think so. All right. Don't want to stop by the old house or anything like that? No. Maybe get involved in eight or ten more plots. See what's happened to your. You know, it has been a long time since you got to play golf, though, Chris. Just wanted to point that out. I could pick up some golf balls and bring them with, and just whack them around with my. Oh, all right. You pick up some golf balls. Yeah, I mean, working on your short game is crucial. Crucial. Oh, and you do know that the white is connected with Mossad for sure, right? Well, the um. Well, Israeli embassy him. chick that danced with you at the party yeah, was white. Yeah, but that, you know that like... she's you know she's running off she's run off with uh, Mildred's girlfriend, right? Uh, oh, okay, so she's won the she's won the good ass, is she? Yeah, I was I was wondering if she was one of the good ones or not. She is actually hold on. Oh, so this is stuff that you because oh, we knew her as Danielle Garrett. Hold on. Yeah, so Danielle is also uh, Tamara Goldman. Ah, uh, so that, yep, yeah, all right. And the head um, of the white is Mary Schiller. Mm. 
Yeah, because um, Mildred mentioned Tamara, but she didn't know, didn't, generally didn't know the link. So the temple that they were at, or where White is housed at in Israel, was attacked? And it's been okay. destroyed? Oh, okay. By the bad, by the yeah. rebel... I mean, it, it, this one actually the white like, can, is also, since the white is the AI, it's the spirit of theater, and they're all about emotion. So, if you think about it, white might have been beyond, behind uh, the wild mage's uh, bindings, since you needed emotion to let him go. Ah, uh, yes, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, possibly. Uh, I mean, the school did know about the colors a lot of the meant. info on the white is also housed in the Maz the Mossad mainframe okay <laughs> so yeah that's not going to be something we're going to get to anytime soon no hmm. oh and the brown the, this is the address to a brownstone <laughs> in Boston, and this is where. Yeah, uh, I got that. Um, Mildred you got gave that? me that. Yeah, okay, yeah. good. Yep, yep. I got the. And that, that's where the bad um, white are holding up one of the bad white locations. If that's the one you're talking about. Yeah, but that's not even the main place. That's just. Yeah, yeah. The secondary main place. There's also a main main place that I got to. <laughs> Hmm. You realize if I had a catheter and a uh, drinks tube, hopefully not connected, that I'd never need to leave. It's everybody's dream. So, cool. Holy fuck. Mm -hmm. So, you guys have the alcohol. You've had plenty of time to discuss your plans. Uh, you can take yep. the suspiciously similar looking cab driver uh, to go back to the place where you can go through the gate, meet up with the air cab driver, who will no doubt be waiting for you still. So, when we get when we go through to Clems into Gothic. Um, oh, that's right, I had all the doll's heads, didn't it, and all the, was that the doll's heads or the bodies missing the heads or something in the back room? Or was that oh. Malik's? I can't remember which one. Anyway, I want to cast a spell, but I want to make sure I'm in a position where people aren't going to see that I don't have a pentagram in Clems. In Clems within Gothic? No problem. Yes. Uh, you, you go into the back room. Clem ignores you as he always does when people wander into his back room. Uh, there's, I'm not sure which one all the doll heads were in, though, honestly. Let me see yeah, I, I can't recall here. which one it was. Yeah. Um, it's just, just one of those weird things. I can't uh, identify gate just out of curiosity to see if it gives anything. Ah, it's not this one. Um, there's uh let's see what's in this one this one probably nothing good i think it's been looted a few times you hear uh clem repeatedly ask uh uh doc fulton what can i do you for is doc fulton sitting there with his big cases of alcohol he brought through yeah, it didn't get it off once, annoyingly. Hmm. Uh, that leaves me with seven image points. You hear Joshua McKay go insane in the back room for a while. <laughs> you guys have a pretty good burden to carry, but fortunately, the uh, guy is waiting for you because, you know, you're putting his kids through uh, the silver piece every time you step in. And him taking you, I mean, now going just a couple blocks in that 
good deal, you're thinking, because you got all this fucking mm -hmm. heavy alcohol to carry. So mm -hmm. you go drop off some for Dragon Don. His boys will mm -hmm. take it to him. No I doubt. I spells as well while he's doing that. I just had to go through him. Okay. Uh, sure. Great. I figured you can go in the back room of Clem's. Go crazy. But, uh, yeah, um, Dragon Don will no doubt be well pre pleased and impressed. Mm-hmm. Although I wonder why it hasn't aged like the century it should have. <laughs> the yes, they were found underground in quite well sealed location. Yeah, but you know, whiskey still ages. Yeah, you yeah. know, time time goes by regardless yes. of yes. where it's kept. Yes. But yeah, so it just shows them drinking and going, it's good, but what the fuck? <laughs> so um, yeah. You, for a connoisseur, you're not going to be able. Well, um, anyway. No, but, no, no. But part, part of it is, it's it's not something that can be made anymore. Right. And the, and the bottle and the label, etc., etc., etc. It's all all. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, the amount of profit that you could make, uh, assuming that uh, uh, yeah. you actually, um, what's it called? Yeah, I wasn't that concerned about profit. It was more useful oh, increasing harms and favors. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea for that. So um, you guys uh, uh, get that taken care of. And then uh, it, for uh, three silver, the handsome cab will travel out of the town and pretty much take you to where you want to go if you want to do that, as opposed to yeah. walk for two hours burdened with alcohol and posh clothes. Did you want to get changed or did you want to stay in the good clothes, Doc? That's a great question. I think we should get changed into a, like our adventure hardy yeah. gear. Yep, yep. Sounds good. Especially to me. outside of town. Yep. No worries. Um, so we'll um, get the cab to take us to the Helton? Of course, sir. He says he smiles at you. He digs you. Um, he takes you to the Helton. Um, I'll just hang out here then. He says. Um, we'll go yeah. upstairs. We get changed. We come out again. Mm hmm. No problem. Uh, you find him uh, scuffling with some other guy when uh, you come out, but uh, he's pretty tough. He manages to hold his own, straightens up, and goes, that's what you get. And he opens the door. Please, gentlemen. Thank you. Actually, you may know you're a man, you're a man about the town. Oh, thank the, you, sir. The haberdashery over there. I noticed um, it seems to be some sort of club or something that goes on a, of an evening. He rolls his streetwise. He has an excellent chance of making this because it's pretty well. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Thank God. I didn't think. I thought everybody you talked to would suddenly become mentally ill. Let's see. Uh... Okay. The haberdasher. He says, he... Oh, yes, sir. He leans close to you. He's not gotten up I mean, on the back yet. I was going to say, we can tell us when we're out of town if he doesn't want to no, love it out there. High stakes poker games run there, sir. He Let's does see. a big, obvious wink at you. You're thinking that even people at the haberdasher way the fuck over there may have seen that wink. And then he <laughs> nods and he says, um, but I heard it's a good clean game, sir. And do you know how one would find out what the door password is? He rolls to see if he can get a phenomenal tip. Yes, sir. Ooh. Yes, sir. Just say Alice sent you, sir. And he kind of strokes his beard, so and then he slowly lowers his hand like it just happens to be. Yes, yeah, all right. Then yes, I'll give him. I'll give him twenty silver. Oh, thank you, sir. Doc Bones is shaking his head. <laughs> He's really... Oh, excuse me, sir, if I was too forward there. He...